All right, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you some thoughts on why you might wanna wait three to five days after earnings to be able to do a trade. Keep in mind, it's not a recommendation, just my own thoughts and opinions. Okay, so when you look at different stocks, like let's say we look at um, uh, Tyson Foods over here that just had recent earnings, or we go ahead and take a look at uh, right now Snap, and that just had earnings right here that released. Um, what you can do is, you know, people want to get into these right before earnings, but with earnings, you just don't know what's going to happen. So here we've got Netflix that went down on earnings pretty big and dramatically. You've got Facebook as well that went down fairly significantly. Uh, but then you have stuff like TSN that went up. Uh, but now what's, what you're starting to see is it's kind of rolling over. So when you're looking at these stocks, and uh, by, by the way, if you want me to evaluate some stocks for you, just check out our Discord channel or get on the newsletter list and you can interact with me a little bit more that way. Uh, and for all that stuff, there's a link in the description down below. Anyway, so what you can do is actually uh, you're, you're starting to think, hey, should I get into it right now, right now, right now? And you might be the one watching the screen. If you're watching the screen, you're like, okay, I want to get into it. But the problem is, is there's a lot of trades that still need to happen because people are still evaluating positions. They're calling their broker. They don't know what to do. They're making a decision. They're waiting for the stock to behave. So this is why typically you wait three to five days uh, for that stock to do its thing before you get into earnings. So if you, uh, after the earnings. So if you look at Facebook right now, here we've had the earnings earnings, earnings dropped, and now we've got three or four days, it's still going lower. So the people that are trying to buy on the dip, you're still going down. Uh, on the other hand, when you've got stuff like TSN, you're trying to buy here, but now the stock is rolling over. It's called a gap. It gaps up, and now everybody's taking profits, and it's they're fading it back down. Uh, if you look at Snap, very similar, right? The stock gapped up into the 40, and it's fading now. So you can see that, uh, you know, starting to play out a little bit. Here's Netflix where we gap down right here, big move from about 500 to about 400, you know, 100 point move. And we kept moving down to 350. We moved an extra 50 points um, uh, lower here. And then we started to roll back up. So this is, you know, if you waited one, two, three, four, five days, you would have been just fine, right? Uh, and that just allows that move to kind of digest a little more. And then you can see after that, we had some kind of movement uh, that went through over here. So anyway, as we go in and take a look at kind of these overall um, trades and positions on, uh, let's say, TSN, um, you can see right now we're fading back down. On Facebook, we're still kind of fading back down. And you had a lot of other earnings right now, like TTWO, uh, take two. You can see it's kind of pulling down. We had the gap and it's, it's kind of pulling down. Uh, AMD here had an earnings right here and it's still kind of digesting. So... My point is, is that people want to get into these trades very quickly after earnings, but give it a little time to digest that move because it allows the long investors to make their trades, the short investors to kind of digest. And then it allows you to kind of take part into, hey, what's going to happen next? Here's uh, UPS for you as an example, the huge gap up uh, right here. And now we're kind of just pulling back down. So if you could have gotten it here and you your trade's still not doing anything, you could have done other things either with your money or just been sitting patiently, making sure it doesn't go back under uh, in this gap. So right here, you're still fine if you would have got into the stock pretty much the same at earnings. So now what you can do is, okay, let's wait for that confirmation or nibble uh, across different position strategies across those different days. So looking at this chart, yeah, it's breaking out right here, but the earnings happened and we gapped up, but we're fading. So by now, if you want to get into the stock and you say, hey, it's still looking okay, it's holding, now you could go higher. But if it starts pulling back, you waited, you know, because it could have also kept going. And in that case, it still could. So you might say, hey, I'll nibble a little bit now. And then I might get into it a little bit later. So by nibbling, I'm talking about, you know, just instead of 100 shares, you might be getting like 10 shares. Um, if you're doing option trades, if you're instead of doing five contracts or six contracts, you might be doing like one contract. So that's what kind of nibbling is. Let's kind of put a tiny base position on and then you can add to it later or again or add up as it's moving in your favor. So anyways, that's why you're kind of always looking into these earnings. You're kind of waiting a couple days prior to getting into them um, too early or too ahead of time. So be patient. Let things set it up and then kind of work it from there. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Feel free to check out my options trading channel at TradersFly and uh, see some more other great videos here on this channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.